So again, in the same progression as we did in the less complicated either numbers or variables, now we're adding to the mix of common factors in the numerator and denominator with numbers and variables. So let, in other words, we simplify, and this should always be our first step if it's possible, simplify what's under the radical first. So we look at part A, we have 50 x to the fifth y cubed over 72 x to the fourth y, we're taking the square root. So ultimately we want to end up with perfect squares underneath. So we see that this simplifies 50 and 72 have a common factor of 2. So 50 divided by 2 is 25. 72 divided by 2 is 36. And then x to the fifth over x to the fourth, that's simply x to the 5 minus 4, that leaves us with x. And y cubed over y, that's y to the 3 minus 1, which is y squared. And we could separate this into sep separate radicals. I'm going to skip that step and just recognize each factor is its own radical. So the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x is x, but we'll look at the y first since we're taking it out. The square root of y squared, we have to take the absolute value because the power we're left with is an odd power, so that's 5 times the absolute value of y times we're left with the square root of x, and that's all over the square root of 36 is 6. Part B, we're looking at a cube root. So first, let's simplify what we can under the radical. 16 and 54 are both divisible by 2, so 16 divided by 2 is 8. 54 divided by 2 is 27. x to the 5th over x squared, that's x to the 5 minus 2 is x cubed. And then y to the 7th over y squared is y to the 7 minus 2, or y to the 5th. And then that can simplify into, let's go ahead and break this one apart into factors since we're dealing with cubes. That's the cube root of 8x cubed y cubed times y squared over 27. And then when we break it apart into separate radicals, we end up with the cube root of 8x cubed, wait, let's go ahead and break it up into separate radicals so you can see. This is a cube root of 2xy cubed times a cube root of y squared, all divided by the cube root of 27. We're going ahead and taking that, and it equals 3. And then we'll write out one last step here. That equals the cube root of 2xy cubed is just 2xy. We're left with the cube root of y squared. And that's all over 3. Part C, we're looking at a fourth root. Again, let's simplify what we can under the radical first. 5 and 80. Well, 5 is a factor of 80, so this is just going to be the fourth root of 5 divided by 5 is 1. 8 minus 3 is a to the fifth. b to the sixth over b squared, b to the sixth minus 2 is b to the fourth. And then the 80 divided by 5 leaves us with 16. So that equals the fourth root of a to the fourth b to the fourth times a we're looking for perfect fourth powers and that's all over the fourth root of actually I'll go ahead and separate that 
that's all over the fourth root of 16, which is 2 to the fourth. So that equals, when we take the fourth root of a to the fourth, we have to worry about the absolute value. Same thing with b to the fourth, because we're left with a, b, which each one of those is to the first power. So we're looking at the absolute value of a, b. That's still times the fourth root of a. And then the fourth root of two to the fourth, or the fourth root of 16, is simply two.